What's up YouTube, Darren Dyke here with me on Slow Motion. So today, we're doing a little bit of a science experiment. There's a good chance that you've seen a video or number of videos floating around the internet where it demonstrates that if you take a bottle filled with water and hit it with enough force across the top of the bottle, you create a vacuum at the bottom which transfers all of the energy from the water back into the bottle in a directional way and it basically hammers out the bottom of the bottle. It looks really just kind of crazy. But it's also very well known that soda does not work anywhere near as well. And today, I kind of want to find out why. So we have a V1611 Phantom camera that can shoot at 18,000 frames per second. We're gonna shoot this and figure out what's up. Three, two, one. So crazy, right? Especially at 18,000 frames per second. We're gonna try this in the water right now. You can see the whole movement just way more clearly than you can when it's above water because when it's above water, all of the air mixes in with the rest of the water and you just get a bunch of droplets flying everywhere and it covers up all of the movement post facto. This time, you can see the glass just kind of like sift away and you see the whole movement just so much more clearly. So there is a good chance, because we're using soda right now because it's the most color punched of any of the liquids we currently have. Uh, there's a solid chance that if this doesn't break through, it's just gonna shoot back into my face. I hope that doesn't happen. Let's see. Trigger. Oh. What's essentially happening here is that the glass, when it is impacted, tries to move separate from the liquid. So basically, the water or the soda do not move at the same time as the glass and the vacuums are formed inside of the liquid. Basically for the water, it's formed at the bottom of the bottle and when that vacuum collapses in on itself, all of that water is hammered through the bottom, all in one direction in just a small part of the glass. What happens with the soda, which is really, really interesting, is that it happens all throughout the entirety of the soda. It basically a whole bunch of nucleation points are formed throughout the soda where the carbon dioxide is separated from the liquid and it creates just an expansion of gas. But that gas has to go somewhere, right? And it recollapses back in on itself with that vacuum that is formed. And you see like an oscillation. The explosion just kind of re-explodes again and again and again, but just a little bit smaller each time. But what's interesting about that is that all of the energy, instead of it going in one direction and straight through the bottom of the glass, it happens in every direction in a much more dissipated manner. So it's, it's basically just a much softer blow on the glass than the water is. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to stay tuned for more awesome slow motion videos and little tidbits of cool stuff here on Beyond Slow Motion. We got lots of cool videos coming at you. Until next time, guys, take care, and I'll see you soon.